on any UFC fighter. Here is the Black Beast, Derek Lewis, really became a heavyweight contender quickly into this UFC run. He trains under the unheralded Bob Perez four-ounce fight club in Houston, Texas. Lewis has put Houston on the heavyweight map, Joe. He has every intention of working his way to a UFC title shot. This guy has lightning fast hand speed. His combinations come swiftly and from all angles. So here is this defensively gifted fighter. It certainly has some offense as well, but more often than not, that offense is set up by his sound defense. He uses movement beautifully, uses his defense to create offensive angles. This guy can stick and move with the best of the man. And even when you think you have him in a bad position, more often than not, swivels that head off of the center line and counters you right in the jaw. So an outstanding defensive striker, very good counterattacks, and a very interesting matchup in front of him tonight. This guy is an elite submission fighter. He has a world-class Brazilian jiu-jitsu game, and if he gets this fight to the ground, he will have a distinct advantage. When it comes to the age, with big differences in height and reach. All right, just about ready to go here now for the particulars. We go inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds of the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting at the blue corner. A boxer, holding professional record of 21 wins, six losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 260 pounds. Fighting out of Houston, Texas, Derek the Black Beast. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 188 pounds. Fighting out of Kanagawa, Japan, Grandmaster. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean draws the assignment here in the heavyweight division. Well, how good is this? Reminds me of the good old days of pride, the UFC Grand Prix single night tournament. This has been highly anticipated by fight fans around the world. And remember, if you sustain damage, that could affect you later on in this one night tournament. Now he's working from north-south. Looks like he's about to attempt a submission. Here he goes. This is, could be it. He might be forced to tap. His choke is getting tighter and tighter. Stunning. And that Stunning. Do it. And he really made it look easy. Great job in establishing that submission. Yeah, so how about that, Joe? We can barely tell people what color the trunks are on these fighters, and we get the submission win. So not a lot of wasted time. He got the takedown early, and the submission came soon thereafter. Great effort, great technique here tonight. And here we can see it again. That's a real tight choke here. And one more time, nice technique here on this submission. So there he is, your winner by submission. That is a finish they will likely be talking about for some time. Big win, major statement made to the rest of this division. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. contest at one minute, 15 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out. So there he is, your winner by way of submission. And candidly, Joe, I'm not sure this night could have gone any better. He did have some doubters coming in. He said, I got to mute those naysayers. And they're not going to keep quiet unless I can actually get this guy out of there. So mission accomplished. No judges necessary tonight. He gets the submission.